Hello everybody, today I'm going to be showing you how to make this DIY Harry Potter potion stand. It's a follow on from my last video where I showed you how to make the potion so if you haven't seen that check it out, I'll leave a link in the description box. But this is just a really quick easy stand to display them on. So let's get going! The first thing I did was took a piece of A3 foam board and one of the bottles that I wanted to display so I could see how big I want my shelf to be. You can see here I've just laid my bottle onto my foam board and then used a ruler to mark out how wide I wanted my shelf to be. I went over it again just to make sure it was definitely straight. Then I just used my ruler as a straight edge and my exacto knife to cut along that line. I used the piece that I had already cut as a template to do two more of those. Three of these pieces would mean I'd have three shelves, but if you want more shelves, just make more. And once I'd had my three, I measured halfway along and then just cut them all in half. I struggled to measure exactly halfway, so I just used my exacto knife to trim one of the pieces so they were the same height. I then used the piece I had trimmed as a template for the others to make sure they were all the same size. Now I'm going to glue them together. It's kind of hard to explain, it's easier to just watch, but they're going to basically look like a set of steps when I'm finished. If you're going to use a glue gun like I did, you want to make sure that you're really happy with the angle really quickly because the glue gun is going to dry quite quickly. You want to make sure you stick the same sides of the piece each time and don't overlap it differently or it might look a little odd. Again, that's another thing that's easier just to watch rather than to try and explain. Once I finished making my shelf, I made my piece go at the back to hold it up. So I just measured a piece that was the same width and height and then just stuck it on the back. Once you've stuck it together, you want to make sure it's completely set before you move on to the next step. I'm just adding an extra line of glue just to make sure that that join is really held in place and doesn't fall apart. Okay, so now it's completely dry, I'm going to decorate it. I'm just taking quite a big paintbrush and I've got a few different colours of kind of browns and dark yellows. And I'm just sort of going to brush my brush through all of them messily just to give it a kind of different coloured wooden kind of effect. You are going to need to do quite a few coats of this, so just keep going until you're completely happy with the coverage. When I was completely happy with how the paint was looking and it was dry, I decided to add a little bit of extra detail. So I've just got these gems. They come in all different colours, so I chose my three favourite, picked out what I felt was enough, and then just done a line along the edge of the shelf and just applied them to it with Mod Podge. It did take me quite a while to do this, it does take some patience, but it does look really good when it's finished. When I'd applied the gems to the edge of all my shelves, I covered the whole shelf in a layer of Mod Podge just to give it a glossy finish. I do 
wish it had happened this quickly when I was actually doing it. That would have made it a lot easier. Once I'd finished covering it, I just let it completely dry and here it is finished. I really, really love it. It looks really cool. It looks quite realistic and it was so cheap and easy to make. It displays my potions really well and looks like a really cool addition to my DIY Harry Potter shelf. So here it is finished. If you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and a like and subscribe and I will be back with another DIY and another Harry Potter one really soon. See you later!